we in? We are live. Hey guys, um, so you, I'm often asked how I met Lance. Uh, I met Lance a while ago, and when I met him, my book had just come out, my first book. My only book, who am I kidding? Anyway, it had just come out, and Lance had this brilliant idea that instead of doing a traditional book tour or book party, where a bunch of people who are your fringe friends show up, and tell you you did a great job with the book and they eat some food and then they leave, why not do something a little bit different? Since he's a social media guru, as I like to call him, he suggested we go to where are books sold, mainly bookstores, Barnes and Nobles, different places like that. Go to a bunch of different stores. There are 30 chapters. Go to 30 different places and read a chapter of the book or explain or talk about all 30 chapters. Um, and, and we did this. Did we do this all in a day? We did it in a day. We did 30 twice. chapters in one day. Uh, and it, it knocked the absolute heck out of me, but, but it, it was uh, it was wonderful. And it did two things. Uh, it, it proved to Lance that I was fully capable of, of talking for 12 straight hours when he knew like the seeds were planted for this show. And for me, I, I knew that there was someone out there who had the patience to be with me for 12 hours and wouldn't get tired. Um, and I also, uh, where the seeds were planted, sort of uh, jumped on board with, with what has now become our show, this idea. And we became good friends ever since, and that's sort of... It was actually in the, the car and the taxi ride back, I said, we should do four hours. And she was... And I laughed, like, and I laughed, and I I said every day of the week, and you laughed I your laughed head off so hard. Me. Yeah, but uh, I don't know how you convinced me to do it. Uh, another thing, a few things I'm going to say that I couldn't say before, the, the picture on this book, my book is called Thinner in 30, and this picture was 12 pounds ago because they had to shoot the cover less than three months after I had Quinn, the little baby. So I wanted to lose a little bit more weight, get back to my fighting my fighting weight, but we didn't have the time before the book was gonna be released. So um, so that it's an awkward position to me be sitting in, but we ended up going with it. Um, it doesn't look that much different than I am now. Also, I had fun with this book. There are 7,000 you know, fitness and health books out there. So I wanted this one to have my voice, which is a little bit funny. So uh, my good friend, Maya Murphy and I sat down and we wrote this, this really fun book and it starts off with these ridiculous conversations with my mom. And to give you an idea of what I mean by funny, I'm just gonna read you the dedication. I dedicated it um, to Steph, to my best friend introducing me to coffee and to our daughters, Harper, Estelle and Quinn Lily, the two best things that have ever happened to me growing my bangs out was a close third. So you just get right off the bat where we're going with this book. It's nice to take yourself seriously, but not too seriously. It's nice to, you know, get on with your life and take care of yourself. Just don't make it, don't get self-righteous about it. Just do it. Uh, so there are 30 chapters and the way the book is set up is uh, it's called the start of change. Um, and every day I give you one small thing that you can and should do. And if you do that one thing, you have to do nothing else the rest of the day. Then on day two, you did the one thing from the first day and now two things. And then one, two, three, pause for crime. And then one, two, three, four. And the next thing you know, you have backed into basically change because change is ugly and brutal and tough and thick and callous and just a really unattractive way of, of, of making something happen. But if you do it slowly, and you incorporate it into the life you're already living, you're in good shape. So chapter one, um, I mean this picture, I wish I had it better. Uh, chapter one is, is the first most important change that I talk about. So we're gonna go through each chapter. I'm not gonna read you each chapter of the book, I'm just gonna sort of talk about it because l like, honest story, Lance read the book. He lost like 30 pounds. I've lost now close to 40. That's amazing. Uh, and you just basically took a couple of these like tricks and tips in here. And the book is cool because I give you tricks and I give you tips. And right, I was actually you, hearing like, you talk about like a lot of it, like for me was actually listening to me listening just... to you discuss these things yeah. like resonated for me combined with the book like it just I, I and since we're doing you know the diet together right um, this is the Bible to me like this is like no, but I, I think every person in America should read this book. Just, God, thank you, Lance. I mean, like, it's, I do no, no. Like, I mean, that's, that's not like. In America. But for different, like, I really think people should read this. Like, I, I think it's, I think the book is genius. 
Well, the, the, the good thing about the book is I'm not selling you a product and I'm not selling you a diet and I'm not selling you a workout band or a bar. Or I'm, all I'm doing is, is selling you a different way of thinking. Right, like you, cur you cur it's a great, like there's a lot of incremental knowledge in there. It's not, like it doesn't, like you don't have to go and do everything at once. It's just like one thing at a time. Right. Um, it, it reminded me, I mean, it was interesting because when I went through it, it, it reminded me of how a coach would take a player through a physical, you know, sport. Like that was sort of, there was like that whole element to it. Nice. Um, so. Uh, all right, well, should we start with chapter one? Yeah, actually, before you get in, Marianne Ford said that that book and watching Jenna on today is what inspired me and helped me to lose my 40 pounds. Wow, Marianne's been losing weight and she's been taking a lot of these tips, so it's all good. So again, 30 tips, uh, it's, you know, thinner than 30 just because it rhymed. I'm not always just about losing weight, but if you do all this, then in 30 days, you have no choice but to lose weight. So we're going to start off with the most important thing. Well, I flipped right to Marnie's page. She lost a lot of weight also. Sorry, Marnie. Uh, chapter one is drink 20 sips of water the, the moment you wake up in the morning. Like, again, is that, I mean, do you have to buy anything? No. Do you have to like leave your house and go somewhere? No. Do you need like an enormous amount of space? No. All you need for the first change, that means it's one of the most important ones, is to get up and before you go do anything, make your coffee, go to the bathroom, get your kids, whatever, it takes five seconds. Get up, reach for a glass of water, right by your bed so it's all there, and swallow 20 times, 20 sips of water, that's it. So I did it that way because I don't need to counting ounces of the, oh, drink eight, 19 ounce cans of water of this with the counting of the liters. Just swallow 20 times, it's about, nine ounces of water, eight and a half, nine ounces of water, you know, and if you can do that three or four times throughout the course of the day without having to measure anything or bring a bottle with you, you know, you're in good shape. So why first thing in the morning? Your body's dehydrated. You have not anything in your system for the last eight hours since you went to sleep and had dinner the night before. It's completely dehydrated. If you went, you know, eight or nine hours over the course of the day and didn't have one thing to eat or drink, your body would be completely dehydrated. So think about that, number one. Number two, you know, your metabolism is, is, is laying low. You were just in a reclining position, you were hanging out, you weren't doing anything, you weren't like moving at all. Let your metabolism know it's time to wake up, let your body know it's time to wake up. Maybe curb that appetite if you're the kind of person that wakes up ravenous and you want to eat a ton of food. Uh, and you could be thirsty and it masks itself as hunger sometimes. So 20 sips of water first thing in the morning. So then someone says, well, is that all you need? Well, no, water is key to everything. You know, before I go out to a big dinner, I will drink 20 sips of water. You know, before lunch, I will drink 20 sips of water. You wouldn't be lean how many fewer calories you will end up eating just because that part of your stomach is taken up by just a little bit of water. You also hydrate yourself. Again, curb your appetite a little bit um, and just sort of rev everything up. Eventually, what I'd love you to do after you get in the habit of drinking 20 sips of water a couple times throughout the course of the day as well as whenever you're thirsty, Eventually, you are going to drink half your body weight in ounces of water, and that's what your body needs, plus or minus a few over the course of the day. You weigh 120 pounds, you need to be drinking 60 ounces of water a day. Roll your eyes at me, guffaw, whatever you wanna do, tell me it's never gonna happen. If you wanna know what your body needs, that's what your body needs. And at first, all that will mean will be 15 extra trips to the bathroom. But mark my words, within a week, your body will completely get used to it, understand that it's exactly what it needs, and you'll start processing that water a little better. And yes, the slower you drink the water, the less it sort of goes through your system, but I'm not worried about that right now. Like, I'm just worried about you getting water into your system. So, 20 sips of water first thing in the morning. That's all I want you to do. I don't want you to do anything else. I'm not giving you a workout. I'm not giving you anything to a diet. I'm not giving you what to eat or not eat. I'm just telling you to increase your water. Questions? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's what I have. And I do it before my coffee, before anything, I've got myself water. And I'm not one of these crazies. Like, my buddy Steve Weatherford, that was the punter for the Jets and Giants, literally walks around with like a Culligan body of water. You know, the, you know what that looks like, right? Those big things of water. He like literally, I once interviewed him on the radio, and he like brought in this gigunda thing of water. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> He's like, no, water is key and central. I go, I can't even lift that, much less drink that. I'd probably drown on my insides. Tony um, Kendall says it's better, it's a good tip, that it's better than drinking pop, which well, yeah. um, pop, better. for those of you who don't know, is soda in the Midwest. Yeah. 
and look, um, water could be boring, and I totally get that, so have fun with it. Stick some basil in there, stick some mint in there, stick some fruit in there. You know, take a big pitcher of water and throw in some berries, a big pitcher of water and throw in some cucumbers and mint and whatever it else. It's just a little hint of some kind of flavor that helps you drink great. I don't care if it's room temperature or cold. I don't care if it's sparkling or plain. I just don't want sugar in it. Um, and your body needs to rehydrate. Like tea will also help you. A lot of vegetables have water in it. But in addition to all the other ways that you get water, uh, drinking 20 sips of water is one of them. Like, let, Connor, you work out. Like, how much water do you drink a day, realistically? I drink, yeah, I mean, I hear it's kind of hard sometimes, but I do drink a lot in the morning. You do, right? I, yeah. It's good. Yeah. Lance, do you be drinking water? You be drinking water, Lance, you be? I drink half my body weight in water every day. I try not to spill it on myself. Um, These are the world's hardest modes. Of I actually drink a lot of sparkling water. Yeah, so does my kid. At I asked dinner, the doctor, they said it was okay. Yeah, at dinner, I'll drink, um, I'll drink two large bottles of sparkling water. Oh my God, I really? Think, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So I give you all these ideas of what you can put in your water, like as far as spices, they're like, um, like cinnamon sticks, cloves, fennel, a fennel bulb, like just a little bit of a slice, ginger, vanilla bean. You wouldn't think about that. Carrot, celery, cucumber. You could put jalapeno peppers in it. Like that would be good too. How does water, like, like when we have coffee, coffee's mixed with water. I know. How does that does that calculate into it or not? It does, but they never want you to, to um, because it's a um, what do you call it? That it's a what's the word I'm looking for? You know that dehydrates you. Uh, a diuretic. It's, okay. Oh, oh, so dehydrates. So, so it takes out some of the. Yeah, so you shouldn't count that towards it. You can count, like I said, if you had to, you can count tea, you can count vegetables, like cucumbers and carrots and all those kinds of But that's mixed in your water. That's why I was specifically asking about the coffee. Yeah, that's what I would say. So that's water. It's simple and it's easy and it's so important and so few people do it. Uh, even I have a hard time doing it, especially since we started this show. My goodness, I forget. Yeah, no, I, I definitely, I used, before, before the book, I drank a ton of Diet Coke. I know, because it takes... And I just, every anytime I, sub, anytime I feel the need for Diet Coke, I go for sparkling water, and it really... And does that satisfy it, you? Completely. It does? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, and if I need the caffeine, I have the coffee, black, right. just black coffee. And you coffee. just drink black coffee. Yeah. You're actually, you're actually really healthy. It's scary. Like, I wasn't like, I mean, no, but I, uh, up until this current diet meal plan, like I would, I would tell you, like I, I would just live on M and M pretzel M and M's and ice cream. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, but that, did but like um, I did, but I got rid of the diet coke. Like I used to have diet coke with that, and now instead of that, I'll, I would have sparkling water yeah. and, and the M and M's. That's so. My vice was diet coke before. That was the one bad thing that I ever did. I don't really drink. I don't do anything else. But obviously I stopped for this month and um, only twice I felt like I could use a Diet Coke. But again, I had a cup of coffee for the cafe. Right, and it was like, the, I, I was never able to get rid of the, like the, the tire. The, what do you call it? Love handles. Love handles. Did this get rid of the and love this, handles? This, yeah, completely. Guys, if that's not a testimonial, seriously, at this point, just, just buy my book and deal with it. Or don't even buy my book. Just listen to us and watch the show. Yeah. We'll go through the whole book. I don't care. Right, like I mean, I, I did. I, I told you, I think that the the meal plan that we are now on now is a great chapter thirty one to your book. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, I'm wondering if there's a. Co I do these conversations with my my mom or my dad at the beginning of most chapters to show you just sort of what my inspiration was and why I decided to write this book. Um, like this one, this is an actual conversation with my mom. Uh, mom. My nickname is Gigi. Hey, Gigi. Uh, hey, Mom, what's going on? Oh, how do I lose that extra flab under my arm when I wave? It's like I wave and then the under part of my arm waves too. Me. Oh my God, Mom, I've got some great tricep exercises you can do to tighten up that area. All it takes is a few minutes a day, maybe three days a week. I can have you try four or five different routines. You'll never get bored. What do you say? Dead silence. You know what? I think I'm just going to stop waving for a few days and then I'll revisit. Like, that's exactly what I'm talking about. This is what I dealt with on a daily basis. So that was my inspiration to write this uh, because I felt like this was so a part of who I was and um, not a part of my parents' lives at all. So I have funny conversations like that. So yeah, 
So that's it. Do you want me to move on or we'll just do one at a time? Um, let's okay. go on to the, if you're ready to go on to the next chapter, let's get... Two chapters in? Yeah, let's get a second chapter in. Okay. Um, I like this because I haven't read the book in a while. And what do you, um, chapter one. Okay, ready? Chapter two. Let's actually, Connor, let's reset for... Oh, you can um, do the whole thing? Uh, Start a food diary. Just food diary. Just food diary? Yeah. Boy, that hour you lose really makes a difference. It's a little, it's cold on this side of the yeah. Day, uh, Maybe we should shift the hours, Lance. You want to start at 10? Uh, no. Oh. Food diary, Yeah. Food diary. Food diary. Uh, Marianne Ford says that she's the one you met.